Dear students, we are going to start working capital financing part two. In our previous classes, we have discussed detail about working capital financing and methods of working capital financing or types of working capital financing. And today we are going to uh, cover securities for bank finance that bank looks for security purposes at the time of sanctioning loan. There are four securities we have. One is hypothecation. The second one is pledge. Third one is mortgage. And fourth one is lien. Uh, these are very similar, but obviously there are some differences uh, based on their features. So we will try to find out all those features. The first is hypothecation. What it says, under hypothecation, the borrower is provided working capital finance against the security of movable property. Just carefully watch. What kind of property? Movable, movable. The properties that can be moved like stock, like debtors. So the first feature is, here, the security of movable property, not other kinds of property. The second one, yes, some of you are right, who have already discussed, the borrower does not transfer the property to the bank physically. So, Raihan is right. The borrower does not transfer the property to the bank physically. So property holds by the borrower. Reen, Grohita, Tar, Nijer, Ayote, property, Rake, J property, She Nirapotta, Jamano, Tishabe, Ule, Kurete, Tar, Chukti Potre, Banker, Shate, Reen, Grohonje, Chukti, Huete, Shekhane, She Nirapotta, Jamano, Tishabe, Jeshokol stock but debtor sir katha mention kore chhe shegulo nijer kache thakbe. Third one is a charge against property where neither ownership nor the possession is passed on to the creditor. And it's the explanation of the second one. And the fourth, banks generally grant credit against hypothecation only to first class customers with high integrity. You have to remember that because you see that it's based on movable property. So you can move. The second one is uh, the borrower holds, uh, uh, the, uh, holds the property uh, within his or her control. So that is also a risk for the financial institutions. And third one is the creditor. You say that creditor means the bank, the pawnadar, jararin diyeche. The hypothecation is a charge against property where neither ownership nor the possession is passed onto the creditor. So a creditor is not holding those. Creditor is not getting these. So uh, that is another feature. And obviously, that case is only first class customers with high integrity who have a very good credit history who have yes, sir. who have already uh, 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 proved themselves that they are really good client they're really good borrower so they will get these kind of finance using hypothecation now the second one then what is place so just remember all the features of hypothecation. Now you will find the difference. Here under pledge, the borrower is required to physically transfer the possession of the property offered as security to the bank to obtain credit. So the difference is very clear. Under hypothecation, the borrower does not transfer the property to the bank physically. Under pledge, the borrower is required to physically transfer the possession of the property offered as security to the financial institutions. 
examples you have stock share certificates insurance policy documents and etc then the third one mortgage this is very common everybody understand what is mortgage mortgage is the transfer of a legal or equitable interest in a specific immobile property for the payment of a debt like land building machineries of a factory so it's immovable property you see that other cases we used movable property and here we are using immovable property as security the difference is very specific then what is lien is the right of the lender to retain property belonging to the borrower till he or she repays the credit so the first one hypothecation then pledge then mortgage then lien now some regulations of bank finance are obviously bangladesh bank central bank uh, guides all the financial institutions through provided rules and regulations issued rules and regulations from central bank side but bank also developed or designed their own rules and regulation under the guideline of bangladesh bank some summaries are here one is bank obviously follows norms rules and regulations that must be suggested by loan approval committee in our previous discussion before midterm you have already learned about committees loan approval committees then for the recommendations who are made by the central bank to strengthen the procedures and norms bank chaile tader icche moto regulations develop korte pare na tader nijete jemon loan approval committee ache loan approval committee suggestion gulo tara dekhbe mene cholbe sathe sathe etao dekhte hobe je loan approval committee je suggestion gulo diyeche shegulo kendriyo bank er je procedure and norms ache tar sathe samonjoshopurno kina there are uh, various uh, regulatory issues especially uh, uh, under uh, following uh, points you can consider one is operating plan the borrower should prepare operating plans operating plans amra onek shomoy boli standard operating procedure because uh, companies are looking for working capital finance so working capital is what that the company needs the person needs for their daily activities that case is the company must have a proper operating plan so financial institutions like bank they will look for operating plan of the company operating plan of the enterprise before they decide to sanction working capital finance that's why it's very important so borrower should prepare operating plans and on that basis indicate the amount of working capital finance requirement so how much money the company needs per day how much money they need for 30 days how much money they need for 6 month these kind of operational plan the company or the enterprise or the person should submit to the financial institutions second one is production based financing if any company or enterprise look for working capital for continuing their production then the company or enterprise or the person must provide proper documentation regarding their production capacity and how many units they produce per day or in a month or quarterly or annually and and based on their production capacity based on their uh, uh, production the bank or financial institutions may go for 
financing. The borrower should maintain reasonable levels of inventory and receivables. That is a condition here because this is production financing. For continued production, a company or enterprise looks for finance from the bank and bank also consider their production to finance. Third one is partial bank financing. Partial means bank should not finance the total requirement of the borrower. Here, bank evaluates all the documents of the applicant, of the company, of the enterprise, and then bank decide what portion they will finance. And that's why it's called partial bank finance. Reasonable level of current assets. Uh, what it is, uh, why, why reasonable level of current asset? It's, it's because the borrower, uh, if, you, uh, if, if, you, if, if you are the credit manager of a bank and if you suggest uh, credit facilities or working capital finance for any organization or enterprise, what is not uh, really meet uh, their demand properly, then you will find that uh, they are getting the fund, but they are unable to use uh, it properly because it's it's not meeting the demand uh, of the company. Or if you finance excess, uh, that is also a problem. But you have to consider their position of current assets and their positions of current liabilities. Uh, we have already learned about current ratio and uh, quick ratio. Uh, it, it's because we know how to evaluate current assets. So reasonable level of current assets. What does it mean? The borrower should be allowed to maintain current assets, specifically debtors and inventories only up to a reasonable level. So uh, uh, just think uh, if you have a high current asset, অনেক বেশি যদি চলতি সম্পদ থাকে যেগুলোকে ক্যাশে কনভার্ট করা যায় এগুলো আনইউজড থেকে যাচ্ছে এটা একটা লস আবার যদি কম থাকে তাহলে ইউ ক্যান মিট ইউর কারেন্ট লাইবিলিটিস সো দ্যাটস হোয়াই সো ওয়েন উই আর এম্পোসাইজিং অন রেগুলেশন আমরা যখন বলছি কিছু রেগুলেশন মেনে চলতে হবে একটা রেগুলেশন হচ্ছে দ্য কোম্পানি দ্য এন্টারপ্রাইজ মাস্ট মেনটেইন রিজনেবল লেভেল অফ current assets but it means not that bank will be very robotic bank will be very static bank emon kono protishthan na jara ekebari steam roller chaliye dibe ar taka paisa adai korar jonno borom bank also visualize the abnormal circumstances such as strikes power cuts or any other contingency so you are going to be a credit manager you have to remember that you have to consider all the realistic situation je gulo bastob shommoto poristhiti bank shegulo obosshoy bibechonay rekhe working capital finance kore othoba working capital finance korar por seta adayer khetreo bastob poristhiti gulo bibechonay rakhbe and maximum permissible bank finance uh, there are some uh, guidelines related to maximum permissible bank finance but that is not universal etai korte hobe emon kono kotha nai but kichu guideline ache so as a credit manager you can remember this kind of guidelines abaro bolchi it's not that you have to follow uh, this guideline 100% একটু এদিক ওদিক করা যায় একটু এগ্রিমেন্টের সময় এদিক ওদিক করা যায় একটু আলোচনা করে এদিক ওদিক করা যায় অথবা মর্গেজ যদি অনেক ভালো হয় হাইপোথিকেশন যদি অনেক ভালো হয় এই এই ক্ষেত্রে একটু এদিক ওদিক করা যায় তারপর আমরা একটু দেখে রাখি দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ান দ্য বরওয়ার উইল কন্ট্রিবিউট 25% অফ দ্য ওয়ার্কিং ক্যাপিটাল গ্যাপ এন্ড দ্য রিমেইনিং 75% উইল বি ফাইনান্স फ्रॉम ব্যাংক বরোইংস so you say that if a company needs 1 crore uh, uh working capital 1 crore for meeting working capital gap uh 
shaker tray, 25% will be provided by the enterprise and 75% uh, may be financed by the bank. It act a guideline and say, or what's the working capital gap? The difference between current assets and current liabilities. The difference between current assets and current liabilities is known as working capital gap. Another uh, uh, point is the borrower will contribute 25% of the total current assets. The remaining of the working capital gap will be financed by the bank. Uh, the borrower will contribute 100% of the core assets and 25% of the balance of current assets. The remaining of the working capital gap will be financed by the uh, bank. So there are some guidelines, but remember it's not uh, fixed you can change uh, if you have a good security. Kono company jodi bhalo security dae, tahole shei khetre eigulo ektu poriborton kora jay. Some signals, othom amra issue bolte pari, issues of working capital. Uh, as a credit manager, you can remember that at the time of sanctioning working capital, at the time of uh, issuing uh, working at the time of approving working capital, uh, based on our previous discussions and today's discussion, you must go for proper assessment. So, why proper assessment? Can you proper assessment? Judy, as a credit manager, you provide uh, less working capital to a company or enterprise, the demand meet could ever that the production children are the daily activities. Shampadon Karasham Bob Havana. Our religion on access where Jai, the let the Bipuri the other key interest be she did the hobby into the Rashita. I could the Pachana. So proper assessment is essential so that you can estimate the exact need or demand of the company or enterprise, and that will really help them. Also look at their operating statements, their sales, their cost of goods sold, their uh, administrative expenses, their income sources and expenditures. Look at their assets and liabilities. Uh, evaluate all this very properly before you take decision. And consider holding period of current asset, like inventory, we know how to calculate uh, uh, a day sales outstanding. Just remember, day sales outstanding. Inventory koto din pore kache purono to hote. Credit koto din er motte amra ferod patsi. Debtors koto din er jonno theke jatse. Amra koto din pore purishud kuchhi creditors ke. E bishoy kulo important. So ekta company ke jokhon amra mullayon kuchhi, tokhon amader dekta hobe tadir inventory dirgo din. আ মজুদ হিসেবে রয়ে যাচ্ছে কিনা তাদের ডেটরস যারা তারা তাদের কাছ থেকে কতদিন পরে অর্থ পাওয়া যাচ্ছে তাদের ক্রেডিটরস যারা তাদেরকে তারা কতদিন পরে অর্থ ফেরত দিচ্ছে এই এগুলো প্রপারলি ইভালুয়েট করা দরকার এন্ড দেন অ্যাজ আ ক্রেডিট ম্যানেজার অ্যাজ আ অ্যাজ আ টিম মেম্বার অফ আ ক্রেডিট টিম অর আ মেম্বার অফ ক্রেডিট কমিটি ইউ হ্যাভ টু টেক আ ডিসিশন 